yeah. will love it to me as well. So obviously you are SmackDown Women's Champion heading into a massive, massive show in the UK. Uh, I wanted to ask you, it's obviously about legacy. You know, this is going to be massive for the UK and you're creating a legacy for yourself right now. How do you define legacy? What does that phrase mean to you? Legacy to me feels like what you leave behind. And um, at the when my WWE career is, you know, all said and done, I hope that the legacy I leave behind is that um, I never, ever, ever, ever gave up. Um, and I know that's kind of cliche, but coming into this business with no famous family, I'm not a generational superstar. I came up during the era of the four horsewomen where kind of everything was centralized around them. Um, and so the fact that I kind of broke through all of that and came out on top, um, yeah. it's because I never gave up and I always gave it 100%. So I hope that that could be my legacy. Absolutely. And success as well means different people, different things to different people. A lot of young people we work with go, oh, I can't be Liv Morgan. I'm never going to be that successful. What is your definition of success? And what is your message to people that, you know, they, they feel like that. They look at people and they think, oh, I'm never going to be able to achieve. That. Yeah, I think success to me, it feels like um, very case by case and personalized to that person. Um, my definition of success for me is, um, I guess, being happy, right? Like, I know we all want the accolades, but you can have the accolades and not be happy. And I don't know that that equals success. I think true success is being happy and enjoying what you're doing and feeling fulfilled in all areas of your life. Success doesn't need to be rich. It doesn't need to be mansions. It doesn't need to be famous. It doesn't need to be accolades. I think it comes from a place from within. Absolutely. And what, what is it that makes you the most happy outside of a wrestling ring? Obviously, you, you have other projects and businesses. Yeah. What, 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 what is it that makes you the most happy outside of wrestling? Um, my farm. I love I love my farm. I love hanging out with my animals. Also, um, shop live more. My side business. I really enjoy making these homemade soaps, bath bombs, lotions, all organic, natural. So those are kind of the things that um, occupy my time away from the ring, um, and I love them both equally. Absolutely. One of the things that obviously has captivated people most is, you know, you kind of were the underdog. You mentioned, you know, for a long time, and you were able to, to build up and be in the position you are now. And again, similar uh, sort of uh, vibe to the previous question, for people that feel like the underdog, maybe they feel a little bit, you know, a little bit left behind, but they look at you and they think, wow, you know, maybe, maybe yeah, I could do that. What is your message for people all over the world that are watching you and maybe they feel like the underdog and they're, you know, sort of trying to follow in your example? I hope that if I can um, make anyone feel anything, it's that they, they can do anything. I know I'm the underdog. I know I'm the underdog even as champion, which is like a weird oxymoron. <laughs> but um, any, I believe genuinely anyone can do anything at the end of the day if you love it enough, if you believe it enough, if you work for it enough. And yeah. so I, I hope that anyone believes that there's nothing that you can't have regardless of your circumstances and I hope that people see me as proof of that. Absolutely. And I also wanted to ask you about your, you're a great performer, you have a real connection with the Thank crowd you. and it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. Like how, if you could take me back to a to a memory and a time in your life where you figured out, you found, you know, you figured out you were going to be a performer, you, you found yourself and you knew that this this pathway was for you like an exact moment or a couple of exact moments? I feel like um, I've, I've always known that. I've always known that growing up, but I feel like a very distinctive moment in my career where I was like, um, where the wheels really started turning was leading up to Money in the Bank last year. I remember a very specific moment. Um, I was on SmackDown and I had done a promo during commercial break seeing how excited I was for Money in the Bank and the crowd broke out and you deserve a chance yeah. and it brought tears to my eyes and goosebumps on my body and in that very moment I was like I think I may have figured this out thank you, thank you so much for your time Liv. I really appreciate you. it good luck at the weekend All thank right. you so much awesome. have a thank good night